Scout. Then come up here. Welcome back to my channel. This is Scout, in case you're new. Show everybody how cute you are. Can you sit? Oh, where are you going? Sit down. Sit. Okay, this is not working. Sit down. You know how to do this. You've done this before. What are you, new? So today is super exciting. Do you guys remember when I went antiquing and, well, a couple things. I cleaned out my basement and found a lot of frames that I bought in the past. I also found some new frames when I went antiquing the other day. And I want to show you guys how I'm gonna use those frames to create a gallery wall going up my staircase over there. I put up a thing on Instagram to tell me what you guys need help with in your homes this year. And overwhelmingly, I got so many messages about having a big expansive wall, a big expansive drywall situation. What do I put on my walls? How do I use art? I figured, well, I have a giant wall up there that has nothing on it and it could totally use something. And I've actually been wanting to do this for so long. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into today's little DIY application video of how to do a gallery wall with some antique frames and also some family photos. Sound fun? What's your view on family photos? Should you always do them black and white? Should you do them in color? Should you do them at all? Here's my thought. You can do family photos as long as you're open to updating them. You don't want to have your child's baby photo of them in happy baby pose in a diaper that's like a 60 by 40 print on your staircase when they're in high school and bringing their girlfriend over for the first time. You know what I mean? Definitely update those photos, keep them relevant, and mix it in with some other cool prints. So let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and do all that fun stuff. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm actually going to use my tape measure and measure the wall itself because I want to recreate the exact dimensions of my wall space on my floor. What is this shape called? If only I paid attention in geometry. This is a octagonal pathogenic, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so because I'm doing this on a stairwell, I need to kind of move into a different section of my house to do this because I can't fit it on the floor in front of this particular wall. And then I'm gonna use blue painter's tape to actually tape out the dimensions that I wrote down. So on my floor here, I will have the exact space opening that I have on the wall above the stairs. I can pull all my frames in, play around with which frames I wanna put where, and that kind of allows me to get a game plan before I actually start putting things up on the wall. You know what I feel like? Does anyone remember Molly the dolly? Is that what she was called? It was the gal that did this with the clock. Yeah. You don't remember her? <laughs> I'm sweating and we haven't even started hanging anything. But now we have the framework to work in. The framework. Let's go get the frames. They're in the basement. So that means I'm just gonna start sweating even more. Okay, let's go. Whew. You watched our basement organizing video, then you know I keep my frames in a very special room. Tornado protected. Okay, let's grab some frames. I feel like I'm you know, talking to the mafia. Like I should be in like a meat closet where this thing is swinging, you know? And these are mats that I made a long time ago in a video on my channel with Grayson. We DIY'd these, it was like eight years ago. And I saved them because they were such a pain in the butt to make, I can't bear to ever get rid of them. Even though I don't have the frames that they were made for. So who knows if they'll fit any of these, but you never know. Give it up, Scout. We're not playing ball in the basement, okay? Why don't you make yourself useful and grab a frame? Okay, let's go. Okay, so here's all my frames. And you'll notice some of them have nothing in them, like no backing or anything. Some of them have very random things put in them that I will definitely be taking out. And then there's some others that have really cute prints, or like the duckling ones, or the old guy standing by a house one that I think are really quirky and cool. So I'm gonna be using them as is. My goal and my plan, once I pick the frames I like, I'm gonna lay them out and get the layout solid. And then I'm gonna decide which ones I'm gonna put family photos in. If I'm gonna do any family photos, I may just keep it kind of like this hodgepodge of random prints. I have bought on Etsy, uh, like a package of really cool prints that I can print off myself. I just need to know what frame, what size, all that. Let's lay it out and see what we come up with. You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to just hang one and then just keep hanging them. I kind of want to scrap the whole idea of being organized about this 
and just do what feels right to me, which is wing it. Like you hang one and you're like, oh, I like that one. Okay, now let's hold a bunch of them up around it and see which one I like next. Oh, that one's good. And then you just keep building and building and building. That sounds like a really fun idea. Sounds like Tyler's nightmare, but it sounds really fun to me. So this is why my videos are in three parts these days. Because these two, these three really, are just so cute. Oh, baby. Oh, you're holding them, okay. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> you wanna make this video with me? Should we tell them about the frames? The frames. The frames. Say, they're such pretty frames. Can you say frames? Frames. So here's my typical go-to. When I do a gallery wall, I like to lay it out on the floor, and normally, the wall I'm working on is right above me. In this case, it's downstairs, and I'm working on the stairwell, so it's hard to like visualize it. So moving forward, I think we are going to, I have like a general gist of what I want laid out on the floor, and I'm gonna hang them up one by one and kind of like put it up, take it down, put it up, take it down, before I actually attach it to the wall. Now the other thing I did between the last time we filmed and right now, which was a few days ago, was I got my prints from Etsy printed. They are so wonderfully created. They look like an actual, doesn't that look like a painting? Is she so pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you say we put these, these frames, these prints in the frames? The same. Frames. Okay, goodbye yeast foam. You were a nice story, but we're gonna put something prettier in. So I know I said I was gonna try to do family photos mixed with these prints, but you guys, these prints were just too good. I'm gonna link the Etsy shop where I got these because I was able to download them for $7.99. They have sales, I bought mine on sale. She does sales all the time, but I'm gonna link it because they are such good. And when you print them out, you actually see like the brush strokes, like it looks like an actual oil painting. That's how good it is. So anyway, sorry I didn't do family photos. I'm not against family photos in a gallery wall. I just really couldn't pick. I had so many of my favorites of these that I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna do them all like that. I'm not doing any holes. I'm doing 3M strips, Velcro strips. Whoa, that's how you're doing it? Okay, so now we have all the frames. I'm whispering because the boys are napping and we're upstairs. But all the photos are in the frames. We have our 3M Velcro and we're gonna hope that this 3M Velcro is actually gonna work. Because these are plaster walls and I would rather not put holes in them. So I'm gonna enlist my handy dandy helper man, Tyler and he's gonna help me hang. Cause you know when you do this, you really do need a buddy. You need someone that can hold it up so you can stand back and look, pull up the next one, stand back and look, adjust this one to the left, stand back and look, you know, the whole dance. So just pray for us because, you know, whenever you go to hang anything with your spouse, you end up wanting to go up. And that's upside down. But it should be less hard because we're not putting holes in the wall. That's what makes it hard. And see, you like to be very like measured and tape measure and angled and Right. Down, 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 to down, down, to down, 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 to down, down, to stop. And I like to be like, ooh, a little to the left, a little to the right, a, up a smidge, no down a smidge, no up a hair, no down a hair. To the left, 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 stop, stop. See, I don't trust math because anytime we measure, it goes wrong. Okay. In 30 seconds? Yeah. Did you count? No. How'd you know that? Well, it's just like ish. Let's just go for it. Oh, I want it lower. No, I'm just kidding. Let's do it. Pray for us. All right, now go get the, the chunky one that goes above it. Looks so good. Ooh, does that look good? Do you like it? Yep. We're done, right? No. Mm, 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 mm. How does that look? I love how this was like the worst frame that I almost didn't get and it's my favorite one in the end. Okay, now these two are supposed to go like that. Three more, we got this, babe. Doing it. Go down with the black frame right there. Okay, so I could go up a little bit. Go higher, and lower, right there. It looks so good. Mm -mm 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 
Do a push up. <laughs> Chest bump. Should I jump from here? Yeah. All right, babe, we did it. I can't believe it, but we did. And it looks so good. Does it? I can't see it. It looks amazing. Okay, you guys, so. this turned out so much better. And you know, I've been collecting these frames for how long? Years. And you thought I was crazy. I still do. And I had this vision the whole time. I knew that they were gonna go to good use. And I just wanna say thank you to all of you for asking me what to do on a large wall because this prompted me to actually do something with these frames. I hope this encourages you that you guys can actually go and find thrifted frames and turn them into something amazing for not a lot of money because this, this normally would have been like thousands of dollars to do this. Um, and it just turned out so beautifully for probably a couple hundred bucks and I love it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to tell me which one's your favorite. Tell me if you like think it turned out great. Did I make you nervous that I didn't want to measure? Did you trust my eyes? Did you trust my eyes? Still don't. Yes, you do. It looks good. Stop it. I think it looks awesome. And it was way more fun just, just to wing it than measure it all out. But if you're a measuring person, I won't judge you. If you want to measure it, go for it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Bye.